steel pans today. Uh, the next thing, after you've chosen your, your perfect instrument, you want to choose the correct sticks. And in steel pans, as we've talked about earlier and we'll talk about more, there's a whole family of instruments. There are different sized drums and there are different size sticks. There's also different ways you can make your sticks. I've chosen these sticks, which are just aluminum and uh, surgical tubing. I like them because they're very light and well balanced, which is one thing that you want. When you, uh, you, want, when you hold them, you want to feel like they're just a part of your hand. You don't want to feel they shouldn't be too heavy. If they're too heavy, when you strike the drum, it's going to be too hard on the drum and, it's, and steel pans require a delicate touch. So you want a light stick. You want the length of the, stink, of the stick to be um, one where you can reach the notes and you have some control. If it's too long, the stick can be a little out of control. It's a little more difficult to control it if it's too long. When it's a little closer to your hand, it's just more of a, an extension of your hand, and that's what I like in a stick. Different people choose different lengths, and that's fine. There are also different sizes. You can see the different size of the head of this stick. This one's a little thinner, and this one is a little thicker. You get a little softer sound when you use the thicker head. So I'll use this for different types of music. There are other sticks. This is for a different instrument in the steel drum family. You can see how thick these are and how long the stick is. That's for a different instrument. You want to stay away from this stick for this particular instrument. We'll demonstrate a little bit more about that later on.